But anywho, so um, to close this video out, we're just going to um, continue with some questions, which is the 88 Great Conversation um, Starters for Husband and Wives. You can get this at on Amazon. Um, so we're going to do five questions and then we're going to end it out. Okay, um, so we have some cards laid out already. We didn't. We I read through some of them, um, but I didn't think about the answers or whatever. So, want me to go first or you pick a card? I go first. Oh, okay. Here we go. I got my hood on because I'm cold. <clears throat> Do you think we laugh and enjoy life enough together? How can we make more time for fun in our routine? What you got? Um, I think we laugh and enjoy life enough together. Um, 
I I do think we we laugh quite a bit. Um but I think we can do a lot more. Like, you know, a lot more activities even if it's just in the house. We don't really have to necessarily spend money or whatever. But just doing little things to spark a smile. <laughs> you tired? <laughs> Um, and I think we can do more things outside the house. So it's, I guess it's kind of, I don't know, the, my answer is kind of weird because we could do some things inside and some outside. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we don't do a lot of things outside the house. Oh, let me not shake the table more. Um... How can we make more time for fun in our routine? I guess just doing like we did, just like you, how you did. Uh, you asked me if you want, we want, if I want to go on a date, and I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Just do it. Don't really, you don't. I don't think we have to necessarily uh, say this date we're gonna do this. Go ahead, no, I'm listening. Because sometimes you, things come up and you can't have the date night or a date that you want to have because something comes up. So I think we can be spontaneous and do things. If that makes sense. I could have just been rambling. <laughs> I feel like I've been rambling. You want me to start over? <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, yeah. I guess I answered it. Um, I feel like I was rambling and I didn't answer the question. All right, I guess to answer the same question. Um, yes, I do think we laugh. I'm, I'm a pretty hilarious guy, you know. Yeah, you are funny. Um, <laughs> I give you that. But as far as enjoying life enough together, yeah, we can definitely do more of that. You know, you get in a day to day of working and sometimes overworking and then not having time to really breathe and then that turns into complaints and then Yeah, we just get in a little funk. So I think um we could afford to enjoy life together more um but i think that's going to also come with age i think as we get older the workload hopefully will start hopefully. to start the to window down in. yeah um how can we make more time for fun in our routine i gave you a look because this is the planner over here right and she said, oh, let's just be spontaneous. I said, oh, okay. Uh, some, no, sometimes we can be spontaneous. Okay. All right. That's, that's fine with me. Because um, everything doesn't have... Because whenever, whenever we do things, I feel like because I plan so much, I feel like I'm always the one planning. Not always, but majority of the time, it's like, what should we do? Uh, let's go out. And I feel like I'm the one doing doing most of the work. I could freestyle. You know me. Just whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whoop de whoop. <laughs> Good to go. All right. Next question. I, I want to answer mine again. How because, you two times? Because I, don't, I, I was rambling. Like, do you think we laugh and enjoy life enough together? I want to answer mine again. My turn. What is your favorite season? What do you enjoy about it the most? So you're answering that? Yeah, you're answering that. My favorite season. We did this video late. I'm, t I'm like yawning and stuff. My favorite season. I don't even know your favorite season. I don't think I know my favorite 
favorite season. <laughs> I don't think I have a favorite season. Really? Uh, if you could pick one, what would it well, be? Well, let me eliminate first because I can tell you which ones I don't like. I'm not fond of winter. Fall is kind of meh. So that leaves uh, spring and summer. Well, dang. Uh, spring. I might say summer. What do you enjoy most about it? Um, it stays light longer. The weather is sometimes scorching hot, but you ain't got to worry about layering up and wearing big jackets and stuff. You just go outside. Um, yeah. Well, I'm the opposite. I love fall. Uh, and so fall's my favorite season. And um, I enjoy wearing scarves and hats and hoodies. And... <laughs> I just like the cozy vibe. Like, I got my blanket. It's not fall, but I got my blanket. I always got my blanket. Um, like sitting by the fire. I I just love stuff like that. I don't I don't like to be hot. Like I don't like bugs. Summer's just definitely not my favorite yeah, season. Yeah, I don't like bugs, but and spring's not my favorite spring season either. Cause again, I don't do bugs. So fall and winter are my two favorite. I'm from Boston, so I love winter. That, not saying that everyone from Boston loves winter, because they really don't, but I do. Okay, next. It's your turn. I know. When you're sick, what are ways you like to be pampered and cared for? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I... I've never really thought about that. <laughs> um, I guess I just like like the warm meals. I, I like I like homemade meals, like when I'm especially when I'm sick, like like homemade soup. I don't want that processed stuff. Processed stuff. I just I want like the homemade stuff and um. I don't know. I just can think about food. Oh. Um, I don't necessarily like to be babied, cause I I don't want I I don't want anyone else to get my germs. So I just like food. <laughs> just give me the food and a warm blanket and check on me every now and then to see if I'm okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, when you're sick, well, I'm rarely sick, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't know, I'm built different. Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when I am sick, um, I just sleep for long periods of time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. That's if you can just give me that. I don't even care about anything else. Just. But that's that's. But you sleep a lot. So how is that different from? That's how I like to be pampered. That's uh -oh. not. That's not being pampered. That's sleeping and not letting anyone do anything for you. Y'all let me do something. Y'all let me sleep. <laughs> but why? Why? Why do you need to? Like I understand, like your body's more, you're more drained, but I mean, you gotta eat. <laughs> you you have to drink. Oh yeah, I mean, you know. So if I come in the room and wake you up and say, "Here's some food, so you can that'll be have cool. some energy." That's cool. You know, I'm bothering you because I'm waking up your long sleep. Nah, if it's for food, 
be good. Like food and medicine, that's fine. And then after that, I'm gonna be knocked out again. I mean, that's it. You know, I'm not saying, oh, I need my feet rubbed and I need. That's not happening. You know, <laughs> I need to do all this other stuff. That's not gonna happen anyway. So, so I, I wouldn't mind my feet rubbed when I'm sick. Mm. What you mean? Oh, like my feet are janky. My feet are gorgeous. It was janky. It is. They are gorgeous. So, what's that mean? I'm just saying. Gotta be reciprocated. You know what I'm talking about? Not, there's no do for me and I do for you. Who's in our vows? Whose vows? Not mine. You gotta play the tape back. It's not in my vows. I know what I said. Whatever. That's not how that works. Your turn. All right. Okay. What do you look forward to the most when you imagine our life in 25 years? Oh my God. Not this question again. We didn't do this question, but we did something kind of similar. Kind of similar. Gotta look forward to the most. I want to answer. I want to answer. You want to answer? You, you go You go ahead, though. Oh, okay. It's your turn anyway. Um, what do I look forward to the most? Uh, first and foremost, being alive. I mean, that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, <laughs> Who says that? It's 25 years from now. Like, mm. Yeah, you're right. Uh, second of all, um, become a grandparent. Take my answers. Just trying to see how that's going to work out. I think I'm going to be a cool grandpa. I don't even know what I want them to call me. Pop. Gigi or something. You know Gigi? Saying? They call female Gigi. Or, or OG. OG? OG? What's up, OG? They're not calling you that. <laughs> no, How you going to tell them what I <laughs> no, want them to call that's me? No, not, that's not going to happen. Don't even worry about it. They're not calling you that. OG. Pop Pop. No, nah, OG. I think Pop Pop is... is... OG. <laughs> that's what I want. That's not happening. I work too hard. I've earned this title of OG. Okay. OG. And <sighs> last thing, 25 years from now, I look forward to. I mean, hopefully, you know, I don't know how you're going to be feeling about it, but 25 years from now. Hey, we can't be posting that. Hey, we married. I'm just saying. But we know. can't post that. This is a family channel. Okay, well. That's how family started. I'm, I'm okay. editing that out. No. You need to say something else. No. I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> I hope we can hug <laughs> 25 years from now. <laughs> hey. All right, go ahead. Your turn. Are you serious? No, your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I, I too look forward to being a grandmother. I don't like. Okay. Um. Does it have to be like exact? Like I, I look forward to seeing the world. Okay. Okay. Cause I'm like, I said, like 25 years. So I would have, I would like to have seen a good portion of the world. Be like young, traveling. Like I really, really, really want to own a tiny house. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how you really feel about that. But just having a tiny house to like, you know, something to to travel in. Kind of like an RV. That's fine. It's long, portable. No, that's secondary. Yeah, it's secondary. Okay. Um, I, I look forward to seeing our children grow up and thrive. I want to, I want to, I wonder, I always wonder what they're going to be, who they're going to meet, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Is this my goal? No. Oh, oh, I want the red one. <laughs> Not that both of us answered the question. I know, but I wanted to read the red one. <clears throat> if you could pursue any career in the world... What would it be? What would it take to get started? 
what would it take to get started? Am I answering this? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The one that I, I, I have to think about, I have to answer first. I would, okay, there's two things. Can I just add my own? Sure. Okay, so one, I would be, I would be a dance instructor because dance has always been a part of my life. And I, I didn't, when I was like in high school, I didn't really pursue it the way that I wanted to. And um, I kind of just let it go. So I would definitely pursue dance and become a dance instructor. And the other one would be Well, I want to say a cartoonist. Because I've, I've always, like when I was, again, in high school, I would always sit in my basement and draw like all night. And I even came up with like cartoon characters and stuff um, and created a little comic strip. But then I stopped and started doing other types of art and I kind of stopped drawing every night. Not kind of, I did. I stopped drawing every night, so that was that. Um, what would it take to get started? I, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to be a cartoonist right now. Like, I think that kind of, that dream disappeared. Does that make sense? because it's as if you could pursue any career in the world. <laughs> I don't I mean, think that makes sense. That's I'm, what I wanted to do. Yeah, but let's say that you didn't want to get started. What would it take? I will go back to school and get the training because I don't know how to get started, really, other than go back to school, <clears throat> hopefully on scholarship. <laughs> I'm not doing loans. Um, and then what was my other thing? I forget what I said. Dance Cartoonists. Instructor. Oh, yeah. And then same thing for that. I'll just get the proper training that I need to get started and open up my own dance studio. That would be dope. Yeah. Okay. It, it actually wouldn't just be a dance studio. It will be like a dance slash like the arts so they'll have we'll have drawing, clay, all all the above in there. It wouldn't just be dance. If I were to open my own place. And that's the end of that. What's your answer? Um would want to be a venture cap um I'm an angel investor. Which I think is a venture capitalist. It's just an angel investor and a philanthropist. Um, mm -hmm. What would that take to get started? Me just learning how to, first of all, just getting enough income and funds to get started in investment and learning the ropes, learning the what it would take getting in the right networks and just educating myself on how to build up my portfolio and funds so I can invest in businesses and people. Yeah. All right. That's the end of that. Uh, highly recommend getting this if you're married. Get this little card thing, spark up some conversation. Um, it really makes you think. So, um, 
if you all have, if you're married or you're single or whatever and you have questions for us, we mentioned this last year <laughs> in our, um, our anniversary video. If you had questions for us that you want us to, like a Q&A, if you want us to answer, um, then let us know in the comment section. And we are, we actually, some people actually uh, asked us questions, but because we don't have a whole lot of questions, we didn't go move forward with it. So um, we can always add those questions in with within the next video. But if you have questions, let us know below. Or um, if you're following us on Instagram, let us know. I don't really want to put my Instagram handle on here, but um, yeah, if you follow us, let us know. But if you don't follow us on Instagram, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section and we'll answer when we come back together. Okay? Okay. I can't do that. That's not fair. <laughs> All right. So um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for joining us on our date night slash questions. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.